Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ATCB Gaming. We're going to play some Scythe Digital Edition. Scythe is a big old board game. Um, quite a popular one. It's uh, a sort of blend of uh, what's what are called Euro games and uh, what are called Ameritrash, uh, <laughs> which are, I guess, you can kind of call them the two big genres of board game at the moment. That's not quite true. There's other stuff as well, but um, yeah, they uh, they they kind of dominate the market. Ameritrash being big themed, kind of cinematic, cinematic, yeah, kind of. Board games and Euros being more about systems bouncing off each other. Euros get stereotyped as being super dry. Um, and Ameritrash is super shallow. But um, but it's not really like that. They're a bit more varied than that. A bit more varied than that. Um, so what we're going to do is play the digital edition. I'm just going to crank out a couple of links and stuff. So that people can know that we're playing this. And then we'll get going. Then we will get going. Shout out if... Um, if the uh, stream's okay. Uh, with sound and levels and stuff like that. It should be. It should be. We'll find out. Running on a slightly new connection at the moment. Uh, or a new router, anyway. So, let me know if this looks uh, crazy shitty or anything. Or if you're experiencing any sound problems or a thousand things like that. Looks alright to me. But we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Yeah, it's been a while since I uh, streamed as well, so we'll see what comes up. We'll see what comes up. Hmm, I'm getting some hitching on my end. Maybe? It's tough to tell. I am watching myself on a tablet because that's how I do it. No, it looks alright. Maybe alright? Who knows? It's tough to know when I've stopped moving. <laughs> Professional streaming. Okay. Let's get playing Scythe. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to kind of do a massive run through of how the game works and how to play it or anything like that. But hopefully you'll, uh, you'll kind of pick it up as we go along. So yeah. ATCB, we're gonna play, we're gonna have all kinds of bots, all kinds of bots, um, bot three medium, all oh, right, okay, yeah, 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 go on, we'll have, um, we'll have one medium and three easy, why not, the, the AI on this seems like kind of all right from last time I played it, um, we're going to take unlimited undos, because I'm a cheat like that. <laughs> we probably won't bother doing them, but like, um... Do we want a random faction? <clears throat> Let's take a random player, Matt. But I've already played through this once as Nordics, who are not my favourite faction. So you know what, we'll go with, is it Polonia? The Polish kind of analogue in this. Basically, the idea behind um, Scythe is it's kind of Tesla Punk, Steampunk reinterpretation of sort of World War One era conflict in Europe. It's really cool. It's really fun. You'll love it. Let's get going. Okay, so we're Polania. So we can pick up to two options per encounter card, which is why I really love them. Um, secret objectives we've got to have one factory card and zero upgrades. We can do that. Or to become a despised warmonger, have three or less popularity, at least 13 power, and at least two mechs. I mean, that's not ideal. The technological breakthrough thing, we just don't buy upgrades until we get a factory card. That's fine. Uh, structure bonus. Uh, 
this is um, this is for like a bonus at the end. Uh, the number of tunnel territories with your structures on them. A mine does not count as a tunnel for this purpose. So we want to build structures on tunnels. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds fine. Yeah, like I say, I won't be massively explaining the game as we go along. But, um, we'll, uh, you'll pick it up. So we're agricultural. Okay. That's our player mat. That's like the combo of stuff we have. Crimea's going first. Then, is it Saxony? The German armor? I think it's Saxony. And then it's us. Hello. Okay. So... What have we got here? We've got movement tied to uh, upgrades. That's actually pretty unfortunate because we <laughs> because we have the um, secret objective for one factory cut and zero upgrades. We may be able to just get to the factory super fast. Maybe. Uh, we've got our trading tied to producing mechs. Uh, we've got our production tied to building buildings. And we've got our bolstering of our power, which is tied to enlisting recruits. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's wonky. That's a bad combination of um, with the secret objectives, though. That really is a bad combination of that. Um, yeah, this all probably seems pretty confusing to you if you've never played Scythe. But, generally speaking, you spread out over the map, you create workers, they create resources, you use those resources to build mechs to fight with, um, to build buildings, to Im improve your, like, how your mechanics work. Um, you enlist recruits and do upgrades. Basically, the upgrades make this player map better, so, you know, it makes you move better or it means mechs cost you less metal or whatever. And Enlist Recruits gives you kind of ongoing bonuses um, to do with when other people do these actions. So, yeah. That's basically it. Um, we've kind of got to go for movement here. We've kind of got to go for movement to start moving our guy. I guess. Or we could just produce... We could just produce and start getting some wood and farming, but I don't know. This is a super bad combo for us. It really is. Um, so we're going to get some wood quite quickly. We might be able to get some people quite quickly. Um, and food. So what we're going to do, we are going to move. Yeah, we are going to move. I'm going to move our leader to here. I'm going to move our little dude here to this village. So that when we produce, we'll produce other villagers. Basically, that's what we're doing. Okay. That's it. We can't. Uh, we don't have oil, so we can't carry out upgrades. We don't want to anyway. Sort of. Um, currently, we can't cross rivers. That's kind of an issue, um, but it's fine. Uh, but the reason you want to get to the factory in the center is because uh, the factory has uh, a selection of cards in it, which are like additional um... Wow, did an upgrade already? God damn. Um, which are like a, add an additional um, option to here, and they're usually pretty damn strong. So, so there we go. Um, now, on this turn, we can't carry out the same action we did last time. But what we will do is produce. Because um, there's nothing else to really do that will massively help us. Um, we could trade, just paying a coin to get any two resource tokens. But I'm actually perfectly happy to get another worker. So, we'll produce on two territories. Uh, 
and then we'll end turn. See, they've done the same as us. They're, they're hammering their workers. How did they even do that? Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to move again. Um, partly because I just want to get this event here. Uh, how the hell do I get to Riverwalk again? Is it by making a mech? It can't be my by just by making a mech. Move across rivers to villages or mountains. Um, but I can't make a mech because I don't have metal. I'm mildly confused. But only mildly. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves moving though. You're going here. And you are going here. And we get an encounter card, and because we're Polonia, we can pick two options. Um, gain two, two oil and one popularity. Pay four to deploy one mech. Uh, definitely going to do that. Pay two popularity to gain two dollars and any two resources. Uh, we're going to do the top two. So that and that. We're going to take River Walk because uh, we can go across to here because that's a mountain. So that's great. And do one right there. Yeah, sure. Why not? So we've got a Mac. We've got our first Mac. That's great. And see, we could upgrade, but we don't really want to upgrade. Let's wait and get our... Uh... We can get across to the factory now, so we can definitely get our objective. We can only get one of our objectives. Um, I think... Is there another faction who can get two objectives? There might be, but I can't remember. <laughs> if that's the case, I can't remember. Uh, so now, what we'll probably want to do is uh, probably just produce again, honestly. I don't have enough of anything else to... Uh... Yeah, let's produce. Let's produce another worker. And probably a bread. Because I kind of want to start getting uh, enlistment going. Yeah. I'm not the most amazing player at this. I do alright. I've won a couple of games of it in uh, in real life. In the real life board game. I do alright. Uh, I did play one game on the digital and I lost it. So, <laughs> yeah. We will see. Right, we're definitely moving. Confirm. Uh, you are moving to here. Probably you. Yeah. You are moving. Oh, you can't river walk across. Oh, the mech can go. The mech and the mech can carry them. How'd you load up? There we go. There we go. Apologies if there's litter noise in the background. The cat is uh, experiencing their wonderful uh, urinary tract <laughs> infection stuff. So he's popping in and out of the litter tray a lot, but it's fine. It's all fine. It's annoying that we can carry out these upgrades, but it's just not happening. Interesting. These guys are just turtling up. That's fine. That's fine. No 
Okay, so what are we going to do? Are we going to produce? Probably going to produce, because it's going to cost us... It now costs us a, uh, a power to produce a villager. But that's kind of fine. That's kind of fine. It's kind of fine. Um... But do we want to... Not to produce a villager, sorry, just to produce. Um, we could trade instead. We could trade for coins, because it's, it's not going to actually be any different right now. We've got one more coin, so maybe we should do that. Um, yeah, although we are about to produce more. Thing. You know you know what, we'll do it. We'll do it this way. Get another food. And we will get... Shall we get another villager? You know what, we'll get another villager. That's fine. I just want to get us to that factory. Just want to get us to that factory so we can start upgrading. Which means I'm playing in a very... Um, <laughs> tunnel vision way, which probably isn't the right thing to be doing, but hey, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing this game. Yeah, bolster power. We'll probably do a, a bolster power after our, our next move. Now that we're out in the world as well, it means we can go grab some more encounters, which is obviously very positive for us. Okay, let's get ourselves moving though, huh? Uh, you. You can go to there, I guess. And you can go there. This definitely is an optimal play. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I could actually steal all their resources, but I'd lose popularity for it for just basically just attacking workers. They are getting a lot of workers in there for sure. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is bolster power. So let's pay one gold to get two power. Which is nice, and we can also enlist recruit. Um, so we'll gain it whenever you on the player on either side of you takes that action. This guy feels like he's upgraded a lot. Yes, one, two, three. Uh, this guy feels like he's upgraded a lot. He hasn't deployed any mechs yet, and neither has this guy. So that is absolutely the best one for us to take. Because every time they do this, we'll gain a coin. Yeah, I mean, we could do build as well, because they haven't built. And actually getting the popularity building earlier on might even be better. But what have they got? They've got um, some steel saved up. And neither of them have got any wood saved up. So, you know, I am going to do, uh, I am going to do this one. And one-time bonuses for enlisting a recruit. We're going to boost. Uh, I mean, our coins are low. Our coins are low. We're going to get coins. Okay. That's pretty good. So now, when they uh, create a mech, we will uh, gain a coin, which is nice. about to move on to the factory which will give us our objective which is great and hopefully it'll trigger that before this so then I can actually upgrade as well hopefully we'll find out okay so there we go so I should get a gold now Yeah, got a gold. 
So now we're going to move. Onto here. And don't really feel like we have to move anyone else. And move. Yes. So we can now gain this. Uh, so, these are the different things we can have. This is like a, a speedy move. Factory move. So it's, I think it's like one thing can move two tiles. Uh, but otherwise, what we will do is pay uh, one of these uh, combat cards to gain three resources by the look of it. Or trade a combat card for... Um, can I look at these more clearly? Oh, pay one, gain three. Pay one, gain... Um, which is that? Is that a production? Just the cogs? I'm not entirely sure what that is. Action factory. I'm not sure what the cogs are. Um, pay a gold and a, a card to get... Yeah, that. see, that's two, producing two resources. What's that? Gain cog. Oh, gain an upgrade. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, pay two different resources. Gain a mech. That's actually super good. Pay two different resources. Gain one build. That, that's crazy. I mean, that's crazy, right? That is crazy, right? Gain a building for just two different resources. Or pay two gold and gain a building and a popularity. That's pretty good. But... Pay one of any resources to gain one of each. That seems crazy. Just two resources for one mech. Or two resources for one building. That massively cuts down. I mean, I'm going to take that. I might be reading it wrong. But sure. Um, so have I got my objective? Complete. There we go. So I've got my first star. Uh, basically, you um, earn stars by doing stuff in the game. Uh, which I will show you. So, yeah, um, you, where is the indicator for, oh, there it is. Six upgrades, four mechs, four structures, four recruits, eight workers, one completed objective. Uh, combat victory, you can do that up to two times. 18 popularity and 16 power, um, basically get you stars. The game starts to end when, um, why is it doing that? The game starts to end, I think you get um, like a full round still, when someone achieves six stars. That doesn't necessarily mean that that person's going to win, because it has a number of other calculations based on your popularity, the amount of territory you hold, stuff like that. So, yeah. But either way, we're definitely carrying out an upgrade now. Uh, and that is going to be... Hmm. The extra move? Not really. Don't really care about that too much. The production action? The bolster? See, we, we might not be building and deploying all that much. Um, we don't need to improve these two, for sure. But do we want maybe that? Like, take the enlistment? Do these not reduce? I thought these could be taken away as well with upgrades. I'm confused. I thought these could be taken away. Is there a reason I can't pick them yet? 
I am confused. Um. Ah, I see. Ah, you pick. Oh, you pick one of each. Duh. Yeah. So produce, and we'll take that in the list as well. And gain a coin. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. They're gaining combat cards. They're doing fun stuff like that. Going all the way over there. Okay. Taking that encounter. That was a big turn for them. Okay, we're definitely doing this. Oh, no, we don't have any... Um... Oh, we don't. We actually don't have lots of different resources. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll... Uh... Do you want to snap up those encounters? But if we need to produce, we need to produce. Um, that's that, really. Yeah. Yeah. Let's produce. Um, so, different resources. Um, we should... We don't really need wood, though, you see. But it does give us two resources, so that's nice. Um, but we should maybe just gain... A villager. We do need bread. We definitely need that. We should make that. Just to have... Just because it's more. <laughs> just because it's more. We'll do that. And then... We'll go. I can see us just alternating this. Like, basically every turn. To just get as many buildings as possible. And as many mechs as possible. Upgrades are going to be tricky. We need someone on some oil, actually. We need someone on oil. Okay. That means I get more coinage. Suits me fine. Very nice. Okay, so do we want mechs or do we want a building? Don't particularly need submerge. Camaraderie's not bad. So I could pick up that stuff. Uh, plus one hex per movement. I'm not that bothered by that at the moment either, in all honesty. Number of tunnel territories with your structures on them. Well, we can put one on there. Yeah, let's get a building. So confirm. Uh, there we go. Yoink. Okay. Uh, maybe use a trade action. You also gain one power. I mean, are we going to use that that much? Construction is for an extra construction. Monuments, whenever you use the bolster action, also gain one popularity. Hmm. I think... Well, it's, we want it to go on here, right? Uh, so the mill isn't exactly useful for that. But we, we don't need it on there right now. Um... We can wait. And the sooner we do that, the better, actually. For when we do enlistments. Uh, so maybe we want... 
Well, the production's going to go on here, most likely. But do we need that now? We might do. Yeah, fuck it. Let's put our mill down here. Oh, no, Christ. Ha! <laughs> Dangerous stuff. Move one unit up to two times. So, you please go. Yep, here. Get that encounter. So, we can conceive a plan with the patrol and troops in the forest for one combat card and one popularity. Yeah, it's alright. Pay two to gain any three resources. Pay three popularity to deploy one mech. Uh, first of all, we're going to pay two to gain any three resources. And we're going to gain oil. We're going to gain two oil, I think. Two oil. Maybe three oil, just to have extra oil. Or we could create one food. Yeah. And um, we'll gain one combat, combat card and gain one popularity. Yeah, sure. That's fine. That was alright. I mean, that's kind of looking pretty tempting, guys. I won't lie. Especially if I pick up camaraderie first. That combat card is... Uh, combat card? Factory card for me is absolutely wild. It really is. Doing all sorts of stuff with enlistment. So where do we want to go next? Probably there. Yeah, if we hop over to here, we can grab that. We can also river walk over to there, actually. So I think we're all right. Um, so I was tempted to upgrade, but do I actually want to upgrade? It's the only um, thing I can do that's a double thing. I think I will do that. But do I want to move? Because I can river walk over to here and gain this without the need to do anything like that. Um, do I want anyone else to move? I kind of do, I guess. I guess I kind of do, but do I want... Mm, I just don't know. I don't know if I want that. Do I just want to produce? Because the double move will take me where I need to go and I don't really want to move anyone else. Like... It'd be nice to get the upgrade, I guess. It would be nice to get the upgrade. It would be nice to get the upgrade, to be fair. Oof, and then I can... Yeah, okay, we'll do that. But then, actually... Actually, I just gain a coin instead. I'll just gain a coin. Okay, let's upgrade, because we're probably not using this move that much. We could upgrade that, or we could upgrade... We're going to be doing bolster quite a bit at the moment, I think. So let's do that and do that. Boom. Enlistment is now super cheap for us. Super cheap. Okay. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good result. They built a building, right? 
Oh no, they just upgraded. So again, a building enlistment is still... A, I still think neither of them have built a building, so... That could be pretty strong. Pretty strong. We're going to probably deploy our second building now. Uh, bolstering. Has anyone got two? No one's got one apart from me. Okay. Recruit bonus. Here we go. Okay. So, yeah. Um, building or mech? Probably building. Yeah, probably building. Yep. So we had two there for some reason, but maybe not. Um, okay, yeah, well, that's all we can pay, I think. We do need more supplies. But that's what production's for, right? Uh, so, let's get the monument. Put it on there. And then take a move. Grab that encounter card. Uh, offer some advice to fix a broken pulley at a defunct mine. So gain two cash and one popularity. Or pay two cash to get full metal. That's pretty sweet. For us. Just extra resources, right? Or pay two popularity to build one structure. We do not need to do that. So let's gain two and one popularity. And pay two to gain four metal. Okay. That seems pretty good to me. We can either use that to build a mech. Um, in fact, we might do that. We might do that. Because we need to... Um, we've got extra cash. And it might uh, behoove us to just get some extra resources in there, like oil. I just want to grab as many of these as I can. I really do. What's our river walk again? Is it to villages? Villages or mountains, yeah. Okay, they've got quite a few mechs, which is making me slightly worried. But it's not the kind of game where you can really be, like, driven into the ground by someone. Or it doesn't benefit them to really do that, is the more accurate way to describe it. Um, okay, we can actually get another encounter card here. Or, well, not here, but the following turn. Um, so what we're going to do... We are going to do this. We're going to trade for resources... And we're going to put down... Now, these resources are going to be spent next turn, so it doesn't particularly matter what they are. Um, it doesn't. It totally doesn't matter what they are, but for the purposes of whatever, -y, we'll put those two down. Um, I guess we should have put them on the one that's protected, but it'll be fine. Uh, and we'll do this. Uh, we'll take... Hmm. Speed might not be bad, because then we can also move to with this. Oh, he's built something now. Um, built a, a monument. Um, oh, well, I mean a building, sorry. Not an actual monument, he's built a mill. Um, 
Hmm. But we're doing this so often anyway. Is that worth it? I'm not sure it's worth it. We'll take camaraderie for now. And we'll put our mech here. Just because that's where the resources are right now. Okay. I think we're doing pretty solidly here, but that's almost entirely thanks to that bloody factory. Oh my god, we we should go in there and take all those supplies. Because <laughs> he's just left them there. <laughs> Good lord. We really should. And he's got no mechs to kind of respond to it in any way. Jeez. Okay, he's going to try and fight me. That's fine. Okay, uh, so I have just two power. Hmm. Ties go to the attacking player. I mean, I'm going to get quite a bit of power. Well, I can bolster quite well. You know what? I don't want to be moved back. So I'm actually going to go for it a fair bit. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> That's annoying. Now I'm all the way back there, which means I've got to... Yeah. Move all the way out. They've got a, a star now as well. Saxony's got two. Which is interesting. Hmm. Oh, they got one just then from attacking. Sure. Sure, sure. That's annoying. Um, but we can go for this one here, and then maybe that one there if they're not picking it up. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so, do we want a mech or do we want a building? Um, Hmm. Do you want a mech or a building? What are other buildings left? There's um, the armory. Whenever you use trade action, you also gain more power. Well, there's the mine. This just acts like a tunnel. That might not be a bad notion, actually. Um, if we put it here, then we can move through it to other places, right? Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. You know what, we'll do that. Sure, we'll do that. I think I lost some resources there, right? Yeah. Okay. Or I could gain these resources <laughs> super easily. Um, oh, which would mean I could also do an upgrade. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Move two units. So you, my friend, can go here. Because we have camaraderie. Do not lose popularity from doing that. Cause they're like, yeah, you're all right. Polonia's great. Um, <laughs> I go there, and now I can do an upgrade because I now <laughs> have all this. Yeah. Um, okay. So with this upgrade, what do we want? Um, Probably the extra move. 
or this. Popularity gain. How often are we going to be using that extra move? That's the question. We'll do this. The bottom ones aren't that useful for us. Honestly. I guess we'll... Improve that one, because we've got a bunch of wood now. Yeah. But we'll do this next turn and build our, our mine uh, there so we can move out easier with our leader to pick up the encounters. Yeah. And then we should be able to move out straight away. Yes. Although we don't actually have to do that. And what's the um Yeah, they're just building stuff. So they might come for me at some point, but not so far. We're doing alright on stars at the moment. We're doing alright. Okay, here we go. So what's the uh, structure bonus? Number of tunnel territories with your structures on them. Right, okay. So they've got to be on different ones, I assume? I assume. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Anyway, we are going to build a building, and it's going to be we're going to pay. What do we want to pay? Uh, we want to get that. We're going to get the mine. We want to put it here. And we want to move. We want to move them to there. So we can actually go here and grab that, which is probably... Valuable. Because that's the one most in danger of being snaffled by someone else, I suppose. Yoink. Free stuff. Gain two and one popularity. Pay three to enlist one recruit. Pay two popularity to gain four food. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll gain two and one popularity, and we'll pay three to enlist one recruit, which will be... You still haven't built any buildings. You have only built one building. I feel like that the building one is the best one. Also gets me popularity, which is... Oh, recruit bonus. Yeah, um, uh, probably power because we don't have any. Yeah, good turn. Yeah, because these guys have been doing upgrades and stuff like that, but this stands me the best chance also like cash and popularity I can't you know, the more useful ones to be gaining for free especially popularity which I need to start working on sooner rather than later you're coming for me again okay are you 
Maybe that wasn't for me. Was that for me? Shouldn't he have done the attack banner? Yeah, there we go. Okay. What's their power like? Seven. They probably pump it all in. To be honest, I don't mind moving back. I mean, it'd be nice to have that bread and oil, but I don't actually need it. He's got seven cards. And yeah, seven power. You know what? I'm happy losing. That's fine. Okay, what are we going to do now? What do we want to do? We could get our last... Uh, is that our last enlistment? It's not our last enlistment. That would get us a bit of extra power. <clears throat> uh, we don't need resources strictly right now. <clears throat> Pardon me. We could uh, we could grab our last building. Uh, whenever you use a trade action, you also gain one power. Yeah, we could get our last building. That's not a terrible idea. But why spend the extra resource if we don't have to? Is my question to you, sir. Uh, also, that would be production, which is a bit... Yeah. I think we'll go for uh, we'll go for another enlistment. Um, so yeah, we'll do this. We'll pay one to gain three power, and then we'll enlist to recruit. And I don't know which is the best to do. Really, we'll do this because I'd rather have power. That'll do. Up our popularity that way. Yeah, okay. That's a fine turn. We're not winning any battles, but that's fine. So most people, they've got three stars now. Or do they have that already? I don't know. That's probably from them winning that second fight with me. Yeah, maybe I could do with winning some fights. But I could probably do with racking up my power a lot first. These guys are loving their workers, aren't they? We could do, we actually could do with getting our last two workers. That's probably a pretty, pretty solid choice to make, actually. That would get us another star. That would get us another star. And we could get our last building with that as well. We get two stars with that. Mm -mm -mm. We could do with having at least 13 popularity before this ends, though, for sure. Um, so, what do we want? Do we want... Our last building or another mech. And then to move, if we move two. I don't think we could grab another encounter, but... This actually seems like a pretty sweet choice, honestly. Like, get our last two workers. I just don't like not moving. <laughs> we could also get an upgrade here. That be our last upgrade as well. That might not be a bad idea. But we should really. Uh, there's not much point in moving other than moving them. You see. Let's see, if I move here, there's multiple things that are 
there's like other encounters that are grabbable. Um, I wish I'd taken that plus one speed now. But oh well, we're fine. Um, this does seem like a silly thing to pass up for having. for getting two extra stars so quickly. Have to do it at some point. Let's do this. There we go. Last two dudes. Oh, yeah, because it's a mill. Duh. Yep. No. <laughs> yep, let's get our last structure, which is, um, maybe we shouldn't have. But it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got to be this one. So, let's... Pick that. That's the only place we can put it, so let's put it there. Great. Uh, so we gain two stars from that. That's solid. That's solid. Finally getting some mechs out here. I don't think they've had one mech for a while, actually. If that, because that's a factory move. If I get the speed, I probably won't be able to... I don't know. I can try. Another move? Yeah, you snag that one. <laughs> That's a bit weird, but sure, okay. My turn. It's worth trying. Get another mech. What? Gain one mech. What do you mean? I don't understand. Um, we are going to pay one food and one wood. We're going to get gain one hex per movement, and we're going to put a mech here, and then we're going to take. One movement there. Yes, I know what I mean. Uh, does that mean? So that one's gone. That one's gone. Gone, gone, gone. So I'm taking that one. But they're sat on it. That one's quite a way away. Uh, I can get this one, and then when I move again, I can get that one. Hmm. Okay. Achievement. Uh, gain two and one popularity. That sounds good. Pay two popularity to enlist one recruit. We don't need to do that because recruitment's so cheap for us. Uh, we'll do that and we'll do that. Because even if we can't use the oil, which we actually can use, totally use the oil, um, the uh, at the end of the game, you do get um, extra points for extra resources. So, yes. We're going to nab that one as well, if we can. We should be able to just by moving, actually. 
because we also need to carry out our, our last upgrade. So that's actually a solid choice. Yeah, solid choice. I can't move again. No one's been to the factory but me. Five. I've got five, really? Huh. The popularity is terrible, though. Okay, uh, we are going to move. Two units. You are going to move here. Get another encounter. And you with three guys on you are going to move here. Yeah, why not? Extra territory. That means we don't lose our will. Um, yes. We don't need that. Get two power and one popularity. Pay two to get four power. Nice. And then we're going to carry out our last upgrade. Oh, it's not our last upgrade. Oh, well. It's an upgrade. <laughs> um, we'll take the move, I think. And we'll... I mean, these are kind of irrelevant, but we'll take that one, sure. I'm slightly worried about that, but... Um, Popularity is real low, which doesn't help. We are now on 12 popularity, which means we're in... No, no, we need 13 popularity. We just got 13 popularity. <laughs> oh. Why did we lose popularity? Crew bonus. Didn't we have 13? Didn't we have 12 before? Yeah. Oh, did it calculate that? Before, oh, that's interesting. So we're going up to 12 now, presumably. Presumably. Let's find out. Try and win a fight, that would get us a star, but I don't like that they're getting popularity. Ah, but I did get my last popularity from that as well. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay. So we. Where's the last? That's the. I think that's the last encounter, right? Like I ain't gonna get that one because it's stacked with mechs. I could maybe get that, but it might not be worth absolutely hoofing it for it, because, well, why? Um, also, that tunnel is guarded. But maybe I could. Um... I don't think it's worth building around, but it could be worth. Uh, kind of getting around other ways. Um, so what do I want to do? I could get my last mech. That would be a star. Or I could get my last enlistment. That would also be a star. Um, uh, 
Which is the better option? I'm not entirely sure. What's the last mech ability? It's just submerging, right? Move two from lakes and move from any lake to another. That doesn't help me get that either. Sadly. Hmm. That's the vulnerable kind of target, really. But I need to bolster my power first for that. So, so that's what I'll do. Um, I'm going to bolster power and get my last enlistment. So let's go up there. Last one. Which means I'm getting quite a lot. Right, I'm on four stars. That's much better. And I'm in a really good state because I've got much higher popularity than him. So if he wants to trigger the end game, he's kind of welcome. Someone just haven't straight up haven't moved their characters out yet. There we go. Okay, he's got it. Right. No point really going for it then. I mean, I could go for that one, but so many mechs on it, right? That looks like a nice turn for them. Did they just gain two stars in one turn? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So I've got four more popularity. Only two more power I'd need to gain a star there. This is going to be a pacifist playthrough with me not fighting anyone at all. Possibly. You're just you're better off maxing out your power before you go for it because then losing power doesn't really mean anything. So you can spend it pretty freely. Is that the end of the game? Okay, that's the end of the game. We don't get another turn? Okay, fair enough. My points are looking pretty sweet, man. Yeah, I think I've hammered him. Whew. Closer than I would have thought, but yep. Hooray! Long live Polonia, etc. Uh, yeah, having that, all that extra popularity was really the key there. Um, because otherwise, uh, they probably would have romped home if they were the next tier up. But yeah, that scythe, it's a, it's a genuinely really good digital adaptation, I think, uh, of the board game. The board game's well worth a look as well. Uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this, more streams like this. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching. And I'll I'll see you around, see you around next time. Uh, maybe for more sides. Like I say, let me know. Uh, we could possibly do some multiplayer. I think I know a couple of people who own it. Uh, yeah. Bye.